When you say you've got your hand in a lot of pots, I feel like one of those pots is spending a ton of time in the gym. And you recently posted this photo. You're bigger than ever now. Uh, and as you sit here right now, you're gigantic looking. Oh, I appreciate that. It's the uh, hoodie. But it's, it's so funny. I spoke to someone else. Like, it was a strategically taken picture. Obviously, there's no one else in there. Like, I look a lot bigger than what I actually weigh. Um, so I guess it's just I maybe I have like a – like I don't hold much water, so maybe like, you know, you take the water weight out of the muscle and maybe I'm a little smaller. But my time ending in uh, like WWE, like the last match I did, I think it was around Mania, around the Battle Royal, I was about 200 pounds, right? Okay. But I visually look a lot bigger. It's just It's just a – number on a scale to me but at the moment i'm about 213 215 so i've definitely gained size my strength is really good at the moment um but i'm not going through this vicious i had a bad a bad like mentality when it came to food especially like towards the end of my run in wwe I would diet like crazy Monday to Friday in hopes like, you know, maybe maybe Friday's the day. And I always wanted to be ready. I never wanted to be that guy that when when, he's ta- when his ticket number is called that he's not ready, right? Mm. I've been training at a wrestling school for the last six months just in case you need a 20-minute match, I can go. So, And I'm doing that on my own time. Mm. Um, same with like, in the gym, right? I've had some time off. So when it's takes, when it's time to take the shirt off, I look good. You know what I mean? So then people go, damn, buddy's looking, you know, we should use, you know what I mean? Like you just don't know. Like every time it's like kind of like a job interview, you just don't know. So I was dieting like crazy Monday to Friday. And then Friday we get, just look at the piece of paper, disappointment. So then I go, well, Binge eat on the weekend. Monday comes. Maybe Friday's the day. Crazy cut. Get back down. Friday, disappointment. Eat. So really, I'm eating more now. Nothing's really changed besides that I don't have to panic about taking my shirt off and being ultra lean or holding water going into a TV taping. So that's the only thing that's really changed. I just have a lot healthier, like, a lot healthier with food. Like, you know, yeah. I'm not, not going out to binge, you know what I mean? Because I got to get it in. If I want to have something, I'll have something. But it's not going to end the world where I was just on a bad cycle of mentally thinking the food and, and getting prepared. And it was, just, it was just a bad, bad loop. When you cut down or when you were working a lot of 205 Live and Cruiserweight stuff, did you actually cut down a bunch of weight to wrestle there? Yes. So like how much weight are we talking? So I was originally about 230, but I already started to I hated wrestling in NXT. Like once the tag team broke up, I wasn't doing any. I was off TV for a long time. We were promised stuff like me and Blake were gonna get this thing, you know, like that never happened. And then when we finally got our match together, it was 30 seconds. The small Joe wiped us out. We were never seen on TV again. So then I'm doing live events, but I'm Sometimes booked, but not booked. But then I'm wrestling guys that are seven foot tall that don't, you know, really know what they're doing. So now I'm limited and I just wasn't enjoying wrestling. So I needed to look. And my fiance at the time was always on the road. So I'm here working a job that I wasn't enjoying, looking after the animals, doing like, you know, doing dog dad I needed something for myself. So I started like looking to the gym, right? So I started like changing my body and, and looking more like learning about nutrition and stuff myself as like a hobby for myself. Um, and from there, I kind of lost a little bit of weight. So I wasn't the full 230, 235 that I was. I was probably two, 218, 218, 220. But I had to, and I wanted to go to the cruiserweight division because I thought it was my style. You, they weren't doing anything with me in NXT. You can call 
say that I'm doing all the right things in NXT every single day, but nothing's I'm not getting any proof of that I'm doing any good because I'm not doing anything. Um, that's where the best kept secret came from. Like you're telling me how good I am, but no one knows. Mm. They only know of that enhancement guy that was in the tag team. That's what they knew. So the people within the confines of NXT knew what I had in me and what I was capable of, but the rest of the world didn't. So that's why I created the best kept secret name. Um, not saying I'm the best in the world because we have one of them, but just saying that I have potential here and, uh, you know, just let me do my thing. But the crew, I wanted to go to the cruise weights for a super long time. I was yelled at. I was kicked out of meetings for mentioning it. Um, and then I ended up reaching out to like Adam Pierce secretly via uh, twi- uh, Twitter and I said hey man I saw that you're doing this tournament um, don't know if all the spots are finished uh, filled but would love to throw my name in the hat weight's not an issue and I just sent it to him but I've already been yelled at kicked out of meetings because of this cruiserweight stuff and then um, and I was a bit lower at that time but then I was doing a live event in NXT somewhere and I had a call from Ryan Katz and he called me up and he goes, Hey, what do you do? What's your availability on Wednesday? Oh, on Saturday. I was like, what are you talking about? He goes, they didn't tell you. And I go, no, he's your debuting on Tuesday. We need to create a vignette. And I'm like, what? Like, didn't even know. So went in there that weekend, filmed it and went down, but I did have to weigh in on the Saturday. I needed to go in during a tryout and prove that I was under 205. You actually had to weigh in? Yes. They'll just try to make me jump through hoops. So That's ridiculous. Um, yeah, it was. But I came in. You know, I went to the sauna. Because at that point time, I wasn't, didn't, you know, I was a bit heavier. But I was lower. But I just went into the sauna and didn't eat. And then I went and weighed in. So, and you can tell when I first did that first weigh-in with WWE and I'm shaking Drake's hand. I didn't have the physique that I gradually got, right? Because I was still in that process and I had to do it really quick. But uh, yeah, the the weight cuts, I really got to 205 and the whole character was based on, on weight cutting like UFC. Yeah. So my whole character was a bully that weighs in at 205, but really he's wrestling at 220. So You have these guys, so it's an unfair advantage. Even though I'm making the weight, it's an unfair advantage. Um, so when I would do the weigh-ins on 205, I would, where whatever city we're in, would find a gym, work out, like we all would, all the cruise weights. Then I would sit in the sauna for 20 minutes, but I haven't eat, eaten, go to the show, just sit there until I had to film this weigh-in. So then I look completely sucked in, you know, water, no water oh, in yeah. me. And then as soon as I'll do, I'll drink. So then when I would wrestle, it looked visually different. These are just details that I like, right? Yeah. And that's what I want to see. And it was, it's just something that's, it's just in my head, right? The details, like when we watch the Avengers and stuff, it's the details, it's the throwbacks. Back in the Attitude Era, when I used to watch wrestling, if Austin didn't have black tape around his wrists, I knew that there was no match happening. Right, it was just a little subtle detail. Yeah, which I wanted to dot those eyes and cross those T's. So I liked that whole looking lean and then being bigger. That was the whole basis of the character. Hey, it's Chris, and thank you so much for checking out this video on my brand new YouTube channel, CVV Clips. As the name suggests. It's a place where I'm gonna post clips from some of my favorite interviews. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit subscribe and also check out these videos right here. YouTube thinks you might like them.